Hello and welcome to another video. Today we have an unboxing and review of the Nezuko and Tanjiro Nendoroids from Demon Slayer. I also have the pop vinyls for a bit of additional perspective. Let's get into it. Here's a 360 degree view of the box and as you can see as it spins around you can see the different poses that are shown and this will give you an idea of what you can do with the figure. Now let's take a look at the actual unboxing itself. As always, there's a bit of tape on the top, you cut through that. And then once you pull out the blister packaging, there's some instructions inside the box a bit further in, which shows you how to make all the different poses. Um, also, as with the normal Nendoroid boxes, there's two, two parts, one with the base, a couple of accessories, and the other one with the main figure. So here's a quick look at, at the main figure itself. And then you can see here you've got, there's an extra face, some legs, and you have also have the box. Uh, which he would come out of in the show as well. Here are the shots of the different poses and whilst they show I'll give you some of my thoughts on on the figure itself. So let's start with the positives. On the positive side uh, the, the design, the design's really good. It has a variety of different poses um, and they're all capture a different side of the figure. Uh, one where she's sitting, one where she's standing um, peacefully and then another one where she's quite aggressive. So I think they capture all the different sides of the character, uh, which is quite quite good. The next one I have is the quality. Uh, no complaints with the quality. Nendoroids are always pretty good, so no complaints there. And the last one is the assembly. As far as Nendoroids go, she was pretty easy to put together. They can be quite difficult and quite fiddly at times, uh, but this one's really easy. So, overall very good Nendoroid. I only have two complaints I'd make about the figure. Uh, one is in this pose you can see here, the back right leg looks a little off, looks like it's bent the wrong way. I did check the instructions and that looks the correct way to do it. And the other thing with this figure is the mouthpiece. So it sits off the mouth and you can clearly see that it's sitting off the mouth. So that looks a little bit odd. But overall, definitely worth the price. Next up we have the Tanjiro figure. Again, here's a quick look around the box. And then here's the unboxing. So as normally, cut open the top, cut open that sticker. Then we'll grab the figure out. And when you do grab the figure out, similar to Nezuko, there's the two sections to the blister packaging. This one's got quite a, quite a lot of accessories, uh, which is pretty good. So on the right hand side, you see the base, and you see the sort of water effects. On the left, you have the figure, the faces, and the swords, and those different pieces as well. All pretty well packaged, as the Nendoroids usually are. Positives are similar with this figure. There is a variety of poses and the build quality is good overall. The only catch is the assembly was much more difficult, particularly in the up upside down pose. In mine I found I needed a lot of force in order to insert the rear stand, but once I had it in I didn't have any issues. Overall though, the best things about these two figures is that they can swap parts, they're interchangeable. So in this one you can see you have the box from the Nezuko figure, you can put that on Tanjiro's back, and then you can also put them next to each other, um, and then it looks like they're holding hands. They're not quite, you know, they are separate, but they do match each other and they sit next to each other nicely. And then for a bit of a bonus at the end here, I have the pop vinyls next to the Nendoroids, gives a little bit of perspective. Uh, obviously they're quite different price points, and one you can pose and one you can't. But just for a little bit of perspective, a bit of input, uh, you might you might find this valuable. It's a final view of how they look in my detail. As always, if you liked the video, please like it. And also, if you're interested in subscribing for more content, please subscribe. Cheers.